Yeah, George, good morning to you. I have to tell you, it is very eerie to see an empty Las Vegas Boulevard. And if you look behind me, the lights of the Paris Hotel, they're off right now. This is as crews are working to clean up after that terrifying hit and run that killed one person and injured several others. Overnight, a horrifying scene on the Las Vegas Strip. She accelerated again and just kept mowing everyone down. After police say a woman drove her car off the road and intentionally plowed into a crowd on the sidewalk, accelerating two, even three times, killing one person and sending 30 people to the hospital. All of this with a three-year-old toddler in the car. It looked like she wasn't even trying to stop the car. She had both of her hands on the wheel and was looking straight forward. It was just before 7 p.m. Sunday night. Like, oh my God, what is going on? You know, this is Las Vegas. You know, this is Christmas. Crowds gathered in front of the Paris Hotel, one of the busiest intersections on the famous strip, when the Oldsmobile veered into the sidewalk. This morning, the driver in custody. Do we have this driver in custody? That's affirmative. She's in custody with eight Mary three at the Tuscany Casino. Police saying she's not from the area and may have been driving for a day. Over a dozen remain in the hospital, three still in critical condition. Police saying the child in the car is uninjured. Why? This, why us? Why did this happen? And what really happened? We have determined that this is an intentional act. That means that our LVMPD homicide section will be handling the investigation. Now, I did just speak with a Las Vegas police lieutenant who tells me he does believe that that child is now in Child Protective Services. He also told me they have several cameras in the area, so they are right now combing through that footage. They also plan to reopen Las Vegas Boulevard as soon as they can. George. Well, the big question, why? Okay, Kana, thanks very much.